Hello everyone, on this video we are going to continue this series so if you didn't watch the previous videos you can find a link in the description. We can create the variables and uh, to put this dynamic and uh, implement the logic. So create the remaining time, remaining time equals and here we place the constant we created as a string the text that is inside the the main button it starts with the button text start the Pomodoro status the initial state is post Pomodoro a timer to to do the countdown the Pomodoro number the set number it uh, both starts uh, at zero and uh, we can start to change the art code of strings so here it's the Pomodoro number here the set number the time remaining so remaining time and this because this time is in, in seconds and we want to display in minutes we need to create a method to convert the seconds to formatted string so let's do that now here create the a method it's private it's called seconds to formatted string and it takes the seconds and it returns a string first calculate the rounded minutes for example if the seconds is 65 the rounded minutes is 1 because it's 1 minute and 5 seconds so the rounded minutes is seconds divide and round it by 60 the remaining seconds in the example I gave for example 65 is 5 seconds because it's 1 minute and 5 seconds so to calculate that you need to get the initial seconds and uh, subtract the, the number of seconds in the random minutes like this seconds and uh, subtract the seconds in the minutes like this okay now because if it is less than 10 you need to place it with uh, two digits so it should be 0 5 for example and if it is greater or equal than 10 you don't need to place a 0 in the beginning so if it is less than 10 The, the string is 0 and the number of remaining seconds like this else it's only the remaining seconds to string Okay, so now we have the, the minutes and the remaining seconds. We just need to format it. To format, first you put the random minutes, then the remaining seconds. Okay, now we can use this method here. Let's now save it and test and you can see here 25 minutes and 0 seconds. It's working fine. Let's now give one second less. So it should be 24 minutes and 
59 seconds and you can see here it's all working remove this one and let's continue now we can create the function when the main button is pressed and this button has different actions according to the Pomodoro states for example if it is running or a pulse for now let's just use a print and the pass this method to the on tap in the main button let's add now the print and here we can pass the method name okay let's save it and check press the button and you can see here in the logs it's calling the method now change here to be dynamic we are going to use the map we created in the previous video so status color and pass the Pomodoro status and you can see here the map is this one with the different colors you can see it should start orange let's save it and uh, check and it's orange okay let's continue so here in the progress icons the total to be Pomodoro per set and the down number it's the Pomodoro number minus the set number times the Pomodoro per set for example if the Pomodoro number is 6 then you should only have 2 done because the first 4 is for the first set Okay, change here the, the description to be this map. And you can see here which map I'm talking about, this one with the description for different status. Can you can use here a switch that implements different logic according to the Pomodoro status. So lower case here because it's the variable and let's add all cases the first one is if it is paused and we need to implement a break and this <laughs> This should not be here, but outside this method. Okay. And put it here. Because the build method is called every time we change the, the state of this widget. So we should put it outside. Now we can implement the other cases. And here I'm going to call the method start Pomodoro countdown. Create this method here. Start Pomodoro countdown. So if it is paused and we press the main button, it should start the countdown. And let me paste it here because I made a type. Okay. Now here, let's change the Pomodoro status to running Pomodoro. And if timer different than no, we should cancel. And now start the uh, periodic timer, and this will run every second. So here I should pass seconds as duration. And the value one seconds and one like this. 
and now the function we want to run every second. So it takes a timer. and performs the code inside here. If remaining time is bigger than zero, it means we still have time to count down, we should set the state and change the time label. Like this, set state, and inside set state, set remaining time as remaining time minus one, using minus minus, save it to organize it better, and because we are setting the state, it automatically changes the, the label. Now, change also the button text, to button text pause, because it's running and uh, we need to change it to pause. Else, it means we finish the time. We don't have this method available yet, but uh, I can uh, put it here to not forget we have to do that. So, now we should also increase the Pomodoro number and cancel timer because I'm going to use it several times I can create a method to cancel the timer so cancel timer and I can copy this and paste it here copy and I should call it here like this and uh, here as well and now we need to check if this is the last Pomodoro of this set or if we still have more Pomodoros We can verify this way. Now, if this is zero, it means this is the last Pomodoro. We should set as Pomodoro pause long break. And set state now. And inside set state, we set the remaining time as the constant for the long break. And the main button text as start long break. Else, it means we still have more Pomodoros to do in this set. The Pomodoro status is pause short break. And we can copy this and only change where we need. and change the remaining time to short break and also the, the button text. We can test it. Now you can see it starts to count down. We need to change the percentage here, but the countdown works and the, the button works to start not to stop yet but we will work on that in the next video so thanks guys for watching 
See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and press the like button.